Praise the Lord. Thank you, Sister Miller. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. 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 We got some. Well, there again, we've got quite a few folks listening. Then, uh, been praying for that. Been amen. praying about that. Been blind and devil. Rebuking principal of the vow. You know what? We have authority. Yes, yes we do. In the Holy Ghost. We have power. Church get behind it. We, even new folks that was coming in, 
I seen them get behind it. Mm -hmm. They went with it. Mm -hmm. Thank y'all. But uh, as we went through all of that, I really kind of wondered, you know, I thought, I wonder how it's going to hit, you know, how quick it's going to react. But we went through that whole month and everybody, I mean, you know, yeah, it was uncomfortable, but everybody seemed to have a good time with you. Yes, amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Little did we know amen. that we were going to be right. compelled right. to be out of the church. Right. Right. Now, as a pastor, you stand there thinking, Lord, you just gave me folks. And now we're going to have to come out of the church. I'm going to lose them. Come on. That weighs heavy on me. But I guess I know I'm being transparent. I have to tell them on me. That's what I am. Right. Yeah. I always say, if you don't want to know what I think, don't ask me. <laughs> so. I worried about that. Mm -hmm. Prayed about that. But you know what? He brought us through this thing. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Stronger. Amen. Come on. Than we was to start with. Amen. Because of what we did, the the spiritual preparation that we had in January yes. kept yes. us in the May. Yes. Amen. 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 That's right. Get back in the church, everything going good. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And then people start going out, and I'm saying, what? What? Yeah. But I'm going to tell you right now, in the name of Jesus, I claim every one of them. Yeah. Come on. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. That's bold talk, brother. Aaron. Yes, it is. Right. Amen. Because I know who I am. Amen. That's right. I know who you are. That's right. That's right. I'm bold. Yes. You can speak yes. under a mountain mm -hmm. and it be removed. That's it. Sister Brittany last night, there was supposed to be a tornado coming through. Jeanette, over in there in that way. They'd done, Sister Angela had done come in. Me and her and Dakota talked about it. And I was out there, somebody didn't come in, my mother came in and told me about it. I was out there <coughs> praying to the Lord, asking for protection. I spoke to that storm. We didn't have no damage in the net. Does that mean no? That was the Lord. Right. 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 Let me tell you something. The devil is the prince of the power of the air. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. But greater is he that is in me than he is in the That's right. Amen. Just me. No. Everybody who has been baptized in the Spirit of God. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. You're filled with Him. You have power. Amen. That's right. So I want us to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This ain't my message, by the way. <laughs> this is just a rapid hunt we went on for a few minutes. <laughs> So <laughs> we're going. We're going to pray tonight for all these that are sick, for all these that are being battered, these that are being manipulated. Amen. 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 We're going to pray for these things. This is revival. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Right. Revival and harvest are two different things. Right. We want a harvest of souls. That's right. That's it. But when we have revival, revival is for those who've already been harvested. That's right. That's right. Revival is to give new life to something that has either died or has maybe lost a little fire. Uh, that's it. Right. Yep. Amen. And I said when we before we started this last weekend, I said I believe that the Lord will be speaking to this church and anyone who is here. Amen. If you're here tonight, sure you're is. supposed to be here. Amen. That's right. That's right. And Amen. the Lord's going to speak to us. Amen. And He's going to equip us with what we need yes. to become what He wants us to be. Amen. Amen. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Amen. That's good. Amen. Good. Amen. 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 Stand with me if you will. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. One more thing, guys. Ariel? A uh, lady that Melvin, Sister Melvin knows in Ohio. She lost her husband. Uh, he was 35 years old. Oh, wow. We do not know why. We, we haven't found that out. But uh, we need to remember that family. She is actually a granddaughter of Brother Robert Fries uh, from Ohio. Uh, was the district superintendent there. And, uh, we just need to remember that family too. But any other request we need to remember tonight. Any unspoken request? Amen. Yes. Yeah. Unspoken. And we're going to go to the Lord Super Brother Steve. Let's ask for strength for my neighbors while they're going through this difficult time with their dad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, that's all we can really pray mm -hmm. because there is no talking to them. Let's just let's do this too. Uh, some of y'all know the man is, is dying of cancer, but he wants nothing to do with even hearing about God. What do you do in a situation like that? You pray the will of God in his life. That's it. Pray that God will let him listen if he will. But it's up to him. Right. So let's just pray God's will in that situation. Amen. Lord, we love you tonight. Thank you, Lord, for this time that we've been able to come together. Lord, there's some that need prayer tonight, Lord, those that are not here, there's some, Lord, that will be missed. Lord, we pray each and every one of those to you tonight. Lord, we lay on your hands. Lord, I pray that you let your healing work to flow through the door, Lord, when they get it. I pray peace, Lord, for those who need peace. Lord, I pray that the scales can fall off the eyes and that the ears may be open, Lord. The ears of the heart and mind may be open to allow them to hear all that you have to say. Let them know who you are. Lord God, I am the king. Shout out to you, Lord. Lord, I am the king. Shout out to you, Lord. Lord, I am the king. Shout out to you, Lord. Lord, I am the king.
being seen of them forty days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. Look down at verse 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Verse 3 says that he showed himself alive after his passion. The passion of Christ was shown. What came later in verse 8? After the passion, you shall receive power. Power. Yes. Tonight I want to talk to you for just a little while about this study. Passion produces power. Amen. Passion produces power. Thank you, Lord. Lord, bless us tonight. Yes. I step out of the way now, Lord. Just let me be a conduit for you. Speak through me, O Lord. Speak to your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Give him a hand. It says to be affected or to have been affected, to feel, to have a sensible experience and to undergo. Usually painful. Anybody ever have a passion? Yes. Yep. Now, when we think of passion, we think of Daniel Webster's term of it, which is loving, affection, those kind of things. But what this was talking about, it says, to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion. It was after he had been affected. Right. It was after he had a sensible experience. That's right. A strong sensible. A painful experience. Right. James 5.17 talks about someone else who had passion. It says, Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. Why was Elijah so passionate? Why was he a man of like passions? Because he was living in a time when there was a king who the Bible says was worse than any other that came right. before him. That's right. That's right. King Ahab. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yep. Amen. And he was a Baal worshiper. That's right. That's right. Yep. And being the king of Israel, or over that area, he was teaching the people this. Because whatever your leader does, come on. Yeah. So Elijah is upset. He's passionate about this because he loved the Lord. Yeah. He knows what's supposed to be happening, and this isn't it. That's right. right. So he's passionate. Yep. Right. He's not. God, I feel Come on. Come on. He's yeah. passionate about it. Come on. That's right. Preach, preach, bro. So what did he do? He tells Ahab. Yeah. Yeah. He said, by my word, That's right. yeah. I'm going to pray, and you're not going to see do or rain. Amen. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And that's passion. 
Now yeah. James said that Elijah was a man of like passions. Yeah. What did James mean by that? He meant that they were facing the same thing. Yeah. That's right. They were facing people who wanted to follow everybody else except the true God. That's right. Who James knew as Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He knew who he was. That's right. Yeah. So yeah. James talks about that. And, and James is doing the same thing that Elijah done. What did Elijah do? He prayed for God's people. Right. Yep. He said, I'll get this, the Lord said, I'll get this king's attention yeah. through your right. prayer. That's right. And he did. You remember when the three years was over, he said, Elijah, go back to Ahab mm -hmm. and tell him that the rain's come and I'm going to bring rain. That's right. That's right. Elijah went back. Obadiah come out there and met him, you know. He said, go tell the king that Elijah's coming. He said, uh-oh. -uh. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. He said, I'm going to tell him and then by the time he comes out there, you're done gone and he'll kill me. That's right. <laughs> he said, mm -mm. He said, I swear by my Lord that I will see him today. So Obadiah went. What they had to do, he come and run it. He said, are you the man that vexed Israel? He said, no, you are. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Why did he have that kind of boldness? Because he had passion. That's right. right. Because he loved his people and he loved his Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. Right. And he had passion enough to tell it like it was. Right. Right. Amen. He didn't sugarcoat it. No, he didn't. Amen. He told it like it was. Amen. Well, James, right before that, he's talking there in the last part of chapter 16, or verse 16, he said, The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. Well, we've seen what happened when Elijah prayed. Mm -hmm. He prayed. The rain stopped. Right. Three years later. <laughs> I love that story. Yeah. He just messed with them old Baal prophets and stuff. Yeah. Serious, you know? yeah. I love it. But he, you know, he, he, set the, he set the platform up there for everything to just work out just so God could get all kinds of glory. Yeah, that's right. But why did he do it? Because he was passionate. Come on, that's right. Come on, right. right. He was passionate. Hallelujah. Come on. So with his passion, what happened? What happened was, is these old prophets of Baal come in there and he said, y'all set you up an idol, up an altar, right. and uh, you call, get your God to send down fire. Yeah. And all day, they squalled and they bawled and they cut themselves. Yes. They done everything they could. Well, all I did, he done got cocky now. <laughs> he was cocky before. <laughs> but he's, you know, He's passionate. Right. He come up, he said, Well, you know, them are God that you're talking to. They may be on another errand somewhere. You better holler a little louder. Yeah. Uh, they may be busy doing something else. Yeah. Hey, they might be asleep. Yeah. <laughs> you might not holler real loud. Like oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, don't you know they was fuming? Boy, you could probably just see the heat coming off their head. Elijah sat back and said, now it's my turn. Uh -huh. He said, what all this stuff down? Four birds. Four birds. He said, do it twice. Yeah. So much so that they had a ditch around him, standing full of water. Uh -huh. And what did he do? He didn't say, oh, no. No, he said, Lord. <laughs> I love it. They done been hollering, screaming, squalling, carrying on. He said, Father. Uh, would, would you uh, show these people how it's supposed to be done? <laughs> Go ahead and send some fire down here on them. Uh -huh. And what happened? <laughs> 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 Lift up the water, the Bible says. 
If I remember right, that's where it was, yep. Yeah. Jesus Christ is saved. Not been persecuted. Anyway, it says that he fell down at the feet of Jesus as he spoke. Yeah, there it is, verse 17. Yeah. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. Mm -hmm. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. So what happened when John started at the feet of Jesus? What happened? He gave him revelation. Right. 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 Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He only received that revelation because he started at his feet. Amen. Uh -huh. If he would have stood without reverence, how far do you think he would have made it? He wouldn't have received what he did. That's right. You want to know? You look at the woman that came with the alabaster box. That's right. She came in and anointed his head. She broke that box and anointed his head. But then the Bible says that she knelt down behind him and began to cry and to wash his feet with her tears yeah. and with her hair. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where was she at? At his feet. Yeah. And what did he say? What did she get out of it? He said, she has done this as a memorial unto me. Right. That's right. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Passion prays until it gets an answer. Yes. Yep. Hallelujah. Amen. If we want to make a difference in this world, we cannot do it without passion. You know why? Because you cannot do it without power. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We go back there to Acts chapter 1. Verse number 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is coming on you. Amen. Power to do what? And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria and to the other most part of the earth. What are we here for? Why are we in the house of God. Why are we in the kingdom of God? Why are we disciples unto Him? To have power. Amen. Yes. Amen. Power. I want you to look with me in verse, uh, Mark chapter 5. Hallelujah. Verse 30. Hallelujah. That's good, brother. Mark chapter 5, verse 30. This is the story about the woman with the issue of blood. Uh -huh. yep. Now this woman had passion. Yes, she, did. she had passion yes. because she said, I have hurt for all these years. I've used up all of my money. And I'm still having an issue. She had so much passion. She knew that simply touching Jesus mm -hmm. was going to make him unclean. Yeah. Because the law said that any woman with an issue of blood was not to be touched. Come on. That's right. Yeah. She knew when I touch him, I'm going to make him unclean. Yeah. But I have such a desire to be whole and to be healed that I'm willing to do whatever I have to do mm -hmm. to get that power. Amen. 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 Verse 30 says, And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned about, turned him about in the press and said, 
Who touched my cloak? Now, we've heard that word virtue a bunch of times. Do you know, Brother Scooter, that that is one of only about three times or two times in the Bible that that word was actually described that way or translated that way? Do you know what that word was in the Greek? Amen. Yeah. Miracle power. Hallelujah. He said, I felt miracle power go out of me. That's right. I felt explosive power go out of me. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. There's other times the word virtue is used. But it doesn't call it do That's right. Just like that. And doom that explosive miracle working power is why when we look down there in verse 34 and he said unto her daughter thy faith hath made thee whole go in peace and be whole of thy flesh yes. because of her passion right. Amen. she was so full of passion yes she said, I, I've done everything I can do, and I want to be healed. Amen. Uh, that's right. I remember an old boy like that. Walked down an aisle. Now, running down an aisle. <laughs> fell into an altar. And said, God, I've done everything that I can do. I cannot do it on my own. Amen. I've done everything imaginable. Yeah. I can't do this alone. Right. Right. Amen. Right. And the only way I can do it is if I receive your power. Amen. Now how am I going to get God's power? Amen. By receiving the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 And you know what it done? He filled me with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. How do I know that? Because I spoke with other tongues. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Spirit gave me the yes. Amen. Amen. I now have the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yep. I told you God is equipping Amen. us. Yeah. That he is. Yes. You've already got the power. When you've got the Holy Ghost, you've got the power. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. you got the power to be able to speak with boldness. Amen. you got the power to be able to, to, uh, there's the Lord, get the buzz there. You've got the power to be able to witness to people. Amen. That's right. But, what God wants us to understand is you also have the power to tread on serpents and scorpions. Yeah, that's yep. true. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That you have the power over the adversary. Right. Amen. Yeah, that's it. Amen. Yes. But I don't see things happening, Brother Darren. I don't see things <laughs> going like I expect them to go. How's your passion? That's good preaching, Pastor. How's your passion? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You were real passionate to get the Holy Ghost. <coughs> How's your passion holding up now? I'm uh, a yeah. I've got needs in my family. I've got needs in my life. I, I want to see my family saved. I, I want to see, you know, I want to see the church grow. I want to see all these things. Amen. How about your passion? When you get your heart set, all right, amen. Then I'm going to do whatever I've got to do. Yes. Whatever it is, Lord, I can't do this by myself. Right. 
I've got to do it. Right. But I've got a heart for this. Right. I've got a heart for this people. I've got a heart for, for this situation. I've got, a, I've got a heart for these things. But I can't do it alone. Right. I've got to have the power. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. It's need to increase my passion. Good. Amen. That's good. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's good. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew chapter 14, verse 34. It says, And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Gennesaret. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all that country round about and brought unto him all that were diseased and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment and as many as touched were made perfectly whole. Why? Wow. What did that little old passionate gal start? Uh huh. Yep. Amen. Amen. Right. You didn't hear anything about him trying to test the hem of his clothes before her. That's right. That's right. But this one passionate woman had such a deep desire for a healing, for a powerful interaction with God. Amen. Yeah. That now other people have heard this has happened. Yeah. So now they get a like passion Amen. and they start seeking after yeah. the healing power. That's right. I don't have to actually touch him, I just need to touch his heel. Uh, yeah. yeah. We read on over a little later on about Paul. How that he cut pieces of his garment off and sent them to people and they were healed by touching them. Which is how we got prayer calls. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think that happened? Because Paul was so passionate. That's right. Yeah. He had such a love for God's people and for the things of God. That's right. That he not only was so passionate that he had power. And he was so saturated with the power of God that the mere touch of his clothes could heal him. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Powerful. That's passion. Amen. That's it. I want to be passionate. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Come on. I'm not just seeking the power. Right. I'm, not like, right. I'm not like old Simon, yeah. the sorcerer. I'm not just wanting the power. Amen. I want God. Yes. Right. I want the will of God. Yes. Yes. I want the kingdom yes. of God. Yes, sir. I want to be passionate about Him, about His people, about His plan, about His will. Yes. Right. Well, Amen. 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 When we're passionate about Him, yes. passionate about His will, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. honey, you ain't seen nothing yet. Right. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right. Woo. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Yes. I know I'm taking it all over the Bible. Go to the book of John, chapter 4. Verse number 3. John chapter 4, verse number 3 and 4. The Bible says he left Judea and departed again into Galilee. And then verse 4 said, and he must needs go to Samaria. Yep. Why did Jesus need, must needs to go through Samaria? Because he knew that there was a woman there that was a worshiper. Uh -huh. Amen. He knew that there was a woman there that he needed to speak to. All right. Amen. Amen. 
Well, if you remember, if you're familiar with that story, the woman at the well, he was going there and he sent the 12 disciples to go get lunch. Not one of them, they're all 12 of them. Well, why? Because he knew that they were so prejudiced against the, Samaria, the Samaritans and he knew this woman's circumstance and he knew that they would be even more prejudiced against that. That it would be wrong for him to speak to her. Right. So he got them out of the way. And when he got to the well, it said, you know, it was in the middle of the day. Yeah. Why was she there? This isn't when these women come and draw water this time, you know, back in these days. That's right. They came and drew water at a different time. She came then so she wouldn't run into anybody. Right. right. That's right. Because she was an outcast. She was someone that they would ridicule and make fun of. Right. But Jesus came to where she was at. Amen. Amen. Yep. Yeah. He came to where she was at and he talked to her. He told her about the living water. He told her about everlasting life. Yes, sir. He told her if you know, if you knew who was asking for what, yeah. you would ask me for what. Amen. But come on. When he got done, she took off. That's right. She went to town. Well, when she took off, the disciples, the apostles, were coming back in. Yeah. They said, Why was you talking to that woman? What was that all about? He said, never mind. They said, well, here, Master E. <laughs> John, verse 31 says, In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master E. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Amen. Therefore said the disciples one to another, Hath any man brought him off to eat? <laughs> Jesus said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Amen. Uh -huh. He said, I have meat that you don't know nothing about. Yes, sir. Right. Come on, preach, bro. They were so prejudiced that they let that get in the way of having a passion for that lost woman. That woman Amen. needed salvation. Right. That's right. Right. Twelve apostles right. missed it. That's it. That's right. How easy is it going to be for us to? Mm -hmm. These men walked with Jesus. That's right. That's right. These men seen everything he done. Yes. Right. These men were taught by the lips of the Savior. Right. And they missed it. That's right. We better watch out. Amen. That's right. Amen. If they can miss it, my goodness. He said, but Jesus himself said, I don't need to eat. Because I've got meat that you don't know nothing about. That's right. Do you know what kind of a, a feeling? That man got because he told someone about eternal life? Yes. Amen. Passion. Passion. We've got to be passionate about soul winning. We've got to be passionate about the law. Yes. We've got to be passionate about our family. Amen. That's right. We've got to be passionate. Right. Without it, we'll never see that power. But now, what happened when the lady went back? 
She went back to town and said, hey, come, come see a man. Right. Come, right. come see a man. Amen. Right. Come see a man. Amen. He told me everything about me that I, nobody should have known. <laughs> Come see a man. You know what? I bet that old gal has some good lungs, don't you? Uh -huh. She, she had a laugh. Jesus told them, said, I've got meat that you don't know anything about. That's right. And he said, my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. That's right. right. Well, now this old gal that he talked to, she must have really and truly got a touch from the Lord. He impressed her. He put a passion in her. Right. Amen. <clears throat> you know how I know that? Because when I look over the book of Acts, guess who's having revival? Yes. Samaria. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Samaria. Where was the woman of the well from? Samaria. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> right. Amen. Your passion can carry on the church. Yep. Amen. Amen. Your lack of passion can hold back the church. Yep. Can hold back the Amen. Passion proceeds power. Amen. It produces power. It comes before power. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen, amen. How's your passion? Mine's not as strong as I want it to be. Didn't realize that till today when I was studying this. Last night and today when I was studying this. But I want it to be stronger. Amen. Amen. I want to be powerful for the Lord. Amen. I want to be able to speak to one of these women of the well. I want to be able to speak to one that will carry on so much Amen. that it affects the, the future generations. That it affects Amen. more down the road. Amen. That's right. Amen. Amen. I want to have such a passion in me that when I reach out and touch something, that miraculous power happens. Amen. Amen. I want that virtue that Jesus said. Yes. That miraculous doomless power. Right. Amen. Yeah. Don't you want that? Yes. Amen. But Amen. Steve, wouldn't you like it if you could walk up to one of your neighbors Absolutely. and have such a passion and a desire to see them saved that you could walk up and say, hey brother, how are you doing? And shake their hand. And they say, oh my God. What is that? Tell me what you what you believe. Tell tell me about something different. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Smith Wigglesworth had a passion for the Word of God. He had a passion. He would never leave and go anywhere without his testimony he called it in his pocket. All right. He loved the Word of God. And he was mightily used of that. Right. 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 I don't think he had full truth, but he was mightily used of God. Yeah. Oh, God. Ah. But he had such a passion that the Lord was evident in his life. He would get on trains to go places and people would sit down across from him and would jump up and say, you convict me! And walk off. Get away from him. 
And he never said a word to him. What is that? How? How? This prepper, we need that kind of passion that produces that kind of power. That's right. That's right. If we're going to see the lost and dying world around us saved, we've got to have a passion. We've got to have a passion like we've never had before. Amen. That's right. But we will not be able to see it happen. Not by our hands. I heard Brother T.F. Tenney say this. He was speaking to preachers. And he said, You know why people leave your church? He said, Because you are thinking of it as a stopping ground to something better. He said, You're thinking of it as just a, a, a building platform. So the reason people leave is because of the spirit that you portray of leaving. Yeah. Why are you telling us this, Brother Dad? I'll tell you why. We need to make our mind up that we're going to stay in this thing until it's done. That's right. Yeah. 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 Well, if people ever get the spirit from you, and they can, yeah. that you might be in it today and you might be out tomorrow, they'll never listen to you. That's they'll right. never have That's nothing right. to do with you. That's right. They will not stay. But if they can pick up and read in you, boy, they're determined. Man, they're they're yeah. just set. That's right. They're not they're not going to the left or the right. Yeah. They're not going to falter or fall. They're not going to fail. Come on, brother. Come on. You know what that does? That creates passion in people. Yes. Yes. That creates something in you and inside anybody that's around you that says, no matter hell or high water, I'm staying put. Yes. I'm going to keep living yes. God. I'm going to keep living God. I'm going to keep living I'm going to love Him. Amen. Amen. Though He slay me, yes. Well, yes, sir. Huh? Amen. Come on. Well, I serve him. Yeah. Though he slay. Uh huh. Amen. I'm not moving. Amen. Amen. What Joshua say? As for me and my house, Amen. we will serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yeah. People, a lot of people say. I don't want to go to church. A bunch of hypocrites. You know where that comes from? Because they're not being they're not being around people who can be trusted. That's right. In today, out tomorrow. Love the Lord today. Worship, praise, jump, shout, run, hallelujah. Next week they have a bad day. They sit down over there, look like you've been baptized in pickle juice. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right? Uh, <laughs> How many people want to come in the church and sit down and look across them? <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Something's wrong in here. Yeah. They start smelling. There must be a stench in here or something. <laughs> yeah, there is. It's called death. Uh -huh. Death. Come on. <laughs> We gotta have some passion. If you ain't passionate about your church, you ain't never gonna get nobody else to be passionate right. about it. Amen. If you're not passionate about your God, Amen. you'll Amen. never sell it to anybody else. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. You'll never get anybody else to believe what you say about the Lord. You'll never get anybody else to say, I want some of what you got. But when you're passionate about it, yeah. it exudes. Right? Yeah. That's right. right. It comes forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. How's your passion? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hmm? Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Glory. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Jesus said, I have me. You know my love. Yes. That's right. You know what meat is? Meat is what you need to strengthen yourself. Yes. Right. Meat That's is right. what you need to be able to build up and to stay strong. That's right. That's right. Nothing. Strength. I follow the little God. Amen. Right. Amen. Doing the will of God is meat to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah.
shed uh -huh. because of a passion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. We're going to be like Christ. If we're Christian, then we're going to be Christ's light. Yes. We must share that passion. Amen. He came to the saving of this world. Amen. He came to save the lost. Amen. And when he left, he gave us that commission. Do you know what, Brother Thomas? I've always heard that what you love to do, that you'll you'll do it with all your might. That's it. But if you make it a job, you'll dread it. Yep, that's right. You turn around and regret it. Yep. This ain't a job. Amen. That's right. My daughter asked me the other day. She said, Daddy, she said, we're not supposed to work on Sunday. She said, but you work twice. <laughs> I said, no, I don't work. I said, that's not work for me. And I work during the week. But on Wednesday night, I don't work. Sunday morning, I don't work. Sunday night, I don't work. I'm doing what I love. Right. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. That's my passion. Right. Amen. It's not like now, you know, the man out picking up sticks. They stole him. Uh -huh. Now that would work. That's right. But the Lord taught on the Sabbath. Right. Right. He healed on the Sabbath. That's right. Brother Bob Joe, he, he did not. He wow. healed on the Sabbath. Amen. Why? Because he had a passion. Right. When you get a passion, a deep driven passion, it don't matter what it is, what time of day, or what day of the week, you're going to push and you're going to drive and you're going to try your best to see that passion fulfilled. Amen. And the more passion you get, the more power you get from the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I'm done. Amen. 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 We thank you. We give you all the glory, the honor, and the praise, and everything that has gone on this week, everything that has happened tonight, yes. and every night. Lord, we ask you now to keep us, take us from this place, keep your hand of protection upon us. Lord, bring us again on Sunday morning. Come in, Lord God, with passion in our heart, for the desire of God for your things, Lord, for the things of God in our life. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now tomorrow night we don't have service, remember? Amen. Tomorrow night we don't have service. Tomorrow night. So that's Saturday. This is Friday. I thought you were tomorrow Saturday. Yeah. But I thought you were talking about Sunday. No, Saturday night we don't have service. Sunday morning, Sunday night we got service. Amen. Uh, brother, brother Steve and Brother TJ supposed to be preaching for us Sunday morning. And then uh, Sunday night, I'm still not sure exactly who's going to preach that night. So, yes, can and see the night, said the brother. <laughs> and brother, I don't know anybody. So, we're we'll, uh, we'll going to see. Praise the Lord. I love y'all. Yeah, that's right. He always does. I don't know what conduit is going to be. Put it that way. He might break out the whole pipe. Uh, no, no, no.